Hi, welcome to MyWealth.com. I'm Mike Conlon. I'm one of the senior instructors with the courses. Welcome to today's blog. Today's blog is entitled, The Equity Markets Are a Farce. Alright, so what's, uh, what drives an investor to buy stocks anyway? Uh, is it the fundamentals? Uh, maybe the technicals? Uh, perhaps a combination of the two? Well, right now I'm, uh, I'm not quite certain anymore. Alright, because you can basically throw out all the textbook answers when it comes to today's equity markets. Now, why do I say that? Well, because I believe the only thing that's driving this market today is the notion that the government is going to bail out everybody and their brother. All right, now one of the reasons I say this is because the fundamental picture just does not add up. All right, in a recent article uh, I wrote for our blog, I talked about the earnings fallacy and how the economic picture looked bleak as declining revenues and rising unemployment were the catalyst for the good news in the equity markets. All right, well, here's something else to chew on. Right, the S&P 500 index, uh, its P.E. ratio, it's more than doubled since the end of 2008. Now, what does this mean going forward? Let's have a look. As always, be sure to check out the written blog at www.mywealth.com slash blog. Um, and, and this blog, I'd actually like you to uh, check out the uh, written blog if you can, because we have some links in there that I, that I really want you to see. Um, because, uh, quite frankly, I just want you to believe the numbers and where I'm getting them from. Um, I've, you know, I found these numbers to be shocking myself um, when a friend of mine uh, pointed them out to me, and that's uh, why I thought I'd do the blog in this today. So if you get a chance, um, take a look at the written blog and uh, follow the links um, and I think you're going to be as surprised as I am. All right, so now uh, you know we mentioned that the S&P 500 P/E ratio is at a whopping 143.95. All right, that's three times its historical average. All right, now just to uh, you know give you an idea, basically what that's saying is that uh, you know the S&P 500 is trading at 143 times earnings. Okay, so that's 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 a huge multiple. Okay, we haven't seen a multiple like that in I, I don't know how long. Um, but it's uh, it's uh, you know it's really a, a shocking number, and it, quite frankly, it's uh, surprising that um, you know you don't hear the talking heads uh, mention it more often. All right, so uh, what we're looking at here is we're actually looking at a snapshot of uh, of the fundamental uh, page from the S uh, from Standard and Poor's uh, website. All right, and what this is showing you is uh, you know what's uh, you know makes up the uh, S and P 500 index, and then it shows you uh, you know some of the uh, statistics as of July 31st, uh, 2009. Now, if you take a look here on this uh, on this graph, okay, it's going to show you the P E ratio. 143.95. Okay, um, that's so bad that they've uh, actually stopped updating their Excel spreadsheet. So if you uh, you know continue to look through the website and you can click on uh, one of the links here I have in the article, okay, um, you can actually go back and take a look at the historical uh, PE ratios uh, you know for the market for as long as they've been calculating it. Um, and they stopped actually updating that as of uh, December 2008 on their Excel spreadsheet. So you know I don't know what that's all about, but um, you know, you can take that uh, you know any way you'd like, um, but you know this number uh, is it's 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 a very very high number. All right, now just to put this also in perspective for you, all right, the uh, P/E ratio of the S&P 500 during the internet bubble, okay, it was in the 20, the uh, high 20s to the low 30s. All right, so now you're talking about uh, the stocks back then during the height of the internet bubble, which you know we, we talk about as as one of the uh, you know greatest stock market booms and uh, ever, and then one of the biggest busts. Okay, the uh, the P/E ratios were in the high 20s to the 30s. Okay, now today we're talking about being at 144. Um, think about that for a moment. That's 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 over three times uh, that amount. So, uh, you know, we all know how uh, the internet bubble turned out, um, and you know, we're just hoping that the same's not going to happen here. Um, you know, with the S&P 500 now. All right. So, what needs to happen? Well. Either corporate earnings need to rise or stock prices need to come down. Um, basically, it's that simple. Okay, um, I talked about, uh, you know, I mentioned earlier in the, in the blog that I did um, talking about earnings uh, for the second quarter. Um, and basically, what everybody did was they all just cut spending by uh, slashing the workforce, uh, to, you know, to meet these numbers, which they already lowballed them. 
Um, so the only way I can see these guys catching up, uh, uh, you know, the earnings rising enough to, to meet this current P.E. ratio is that, uh, you know, they'd have to slash jobs at, at just an outstanding uh, rate, you know, so it would just have to be a massive uh, layoff. So um, now I don't know if anybody's ever heard of this guy, Chainsaw Al Dunlap, uh, you know, in the uh, 80s and 90s. He was one of these guys who came in, he got his nickname because he would just walk in the door and just do these mass firings. I mean, thousands upon thousands of people. Um, so I'm kind of joking here that, uh, you know, that, that, that a guy like him uh, today would uh, be getting humanitarian awards from the labor unions um, if uh, the companies today were to take those tactics uh, to the point that it would actually catch up with the current P.E. ratio. So, you know, that's just something to think about. I mean, it, it's, it's really just an astounding number. All right, um, so does that mean right now that it's time to get short this market, that the uh, P.E. is way too high? Well, not necessarily, all right? Um, the old uh, adage is that the market can stay irrational longer than you can stay solvent, and uh, that applies now more than ever, all right? Because the P.E. ratio is not the only metric you can uh, measure to use value. Okay, um, there's many other things you can look at, but quite frankly, you know, I, I, outside of this, uh, you know, government uh, spending and the backstop and, and everybody's hope that they're going to keep uh, throwing money at the market, you know, I can't see any other fundamental reasons, uh, you know, why you should be trying to invest now. Um, if you're already in the market, then you probably want to, uh, you know, keep an eye on your positions to see what's happening, because if this thing does collapse, um, it's going to happen very quickly. All right, so, uh, you know, don't wait. Uh, get in a course. Get educated. Come to www.mywealth.com. Check out our uh, our brand new stock trading course uh, or our investing course or actually the ETF course as well. Um, this will show you um, how you can analyze these markets and you can take a look at numbers like this. Okay, because a number like this, um, you're not going to hear the media talking about it because, quite frankly, <laughs> I think it might send people into mass hysterics. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, um, this is an important metric. And while it's not the only metric, it's just trying to give you something to think about. This brings me back to my original point, that the only thing driving this market is the false belief that government spending is going to somehow support these levels. All right, perhaps the government is already supporting these levels uh, through the uh, mythical plunge protection team. Uh, the old PPT. Um, back in the day when uh, you know, I used to sit on these trading desks, uh, you know, the fellows and I, we'd uh, talk about the old uh, plunge protection team and that the government's actually participating in the market to uh, you know, support levels. All right, so I don't know if that's true or not, but that's, you know, if you're going to talk about conspiracies, uh, that's a pretty good one to start with. Um, so anyway, uh, but right now there's probably a lot of institutional money pouring back into the equity markets uh, as the mortgage-backed security game is pretty much blown up. All right, you've got guys sitting on the sidelines uh, watching the market um, you know, go on a tear. Uh, it's up some 50% since the uh, lows in March. All right, and people are starting to think that maybe they're missing the boat, so they're starting to get in. All right, but uh, I'm going to caution you, okay, because once cooler heads prevail and the smart money sees the market for what it is, okay, the decline could be precipitous. Okay, so until that time, I'm going to proceed cautiously, and I'd advise you to do the same. All right, so to learn more about how to analyze markets, come check out our investing and stock trading courses. All right, so I'm Mike Conlon. Thanks for being with me, and I hope to see you in those courses.